Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom to do a quick cooking video. This is a crock pot recipe. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love crock pot recipes. I will go ahead and link in the description box below my entire cooking playlist where you can find a lot of crock pot recipes that I've done over the years. This recipe is really easy. It's a creamy pork chop in the crock pot like I mentioned. Uh, you're going to need some pork, obviously. I have some thick cut bone in pork chops actually I would call them probably like a medium thick they're not super thick um, I would recommend the bone in because I think they're more flavorful and they get more tender but if you're not a fan of bones you can obviously use boneless pork as well so I have three good sized chops here I salt and peppered each side I'm gonna go ahead first and sear them up so you're gonna need some oil uh, I like to use a vegetable oil but you can use whatever oil you have on hand I would try to avoid olive oil if possible because it will alter the flavor uh, and the final result so I'm gonna use this to fry them up you're gonna need a whole medium white or yellow onion I'm gonna use about half of these mushrooms here just slice them up these are the baby Bellas you can also use regular like American button style mushrooms if you are not a fan of mushrooms, feel free just to skip it. You're going to need a can of cream of chicken soup, about a cup of water, and this is the base for the recipe. What you want to serve this over is totally up to you. You could do white rice, you could do brown rice, I think buttered egg noodles would be really good, you could do mashed potatoes. So this is just the meat portion of it, the meat and the sauce. Again, what you want to serve it over is up to you, rice, pasta, potato, completely up to you. So I'm going to go ahead, get these seared up, show you how to bring this all together, get it in the crock pot, and dinner is going to be really easy tonight. All right, guys, so the first step, you want to get a nice sear on these chops. So you want your pan to be very hot. You want the meat to hit the pan, and you want to be able to hear it. I would also recommend getting a pan or a pot with a lid because this is messy. Even with the lid, you're going to get some splatter, um, but trust me, these are so good that they're worth it. So with some tongs here, I'm going to go ahead and get the pork chop, pork chops in. And that is the sound that you want. You want to put them into a hot pan. So I'm going to go ahead, get that top on as quick as I can. These are pretty thick, so I'm going to let them go about four to five minutes, probably closer to four minutes. Flip them, let them go another four minutes, and then they're ready to go in the crock pot. All right, so I have my crock pot lined. I like to use these Reynolds uh, slow cooker liners. So I have my crock pot lined and ready to go. My pork is beautifully seared up and the searing, if you're curious, uh, by doing this and not putting the pork chop in raw, you're gonna get a better result at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the pork chops in and try to fit them in the best you can. Like that. And that can just wait on us because now we're going to get started with the sauce and we need all of this pork juice to make the sauce. So I'm going to get this back on the burner. I'm going to get the heat back up and we're going to put this sauce together. All right, guys. So what you're going to want to do is have your onions and your mushroom, if you're using mushroom, sliced up. And you're going to get that right into the same pan that the pork cooked in. And just let this sizzle and then you're going to toss it around a little bit. You want it to cook up in all of that flavor. All right, so once your onions start to get a little bit translucent, you're going to go ahead and add in your water. And we're going to also go ahead and add in the cream of chicken soup. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in right now and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so I added the cream of chicken soup. Obviously, I want to mention if you're making this for a bigger family, you would just double the recipe. So you would do six chops, two cans of cream of chicken, two cups of water, the whole package of mushrooms, two onions. You would just double everything. And I always am sure to type up everything in the description box below. So I have my heat on high because we want this to get nice and bubbly before we pour it over the pork. And then we're going to cook it three hours on high or six hours on low. In my case today, it'll be six hours on low because it's about noon and we want to eat dinner tonight around six o'clock. So I'm just going to stir this and I'll show you what it looks like, the consistency that you want before you dump it over the chops. All right, so we're good to go. We brought it to a boil. It's nice and bubbly. It's thickening up great. And I'm going to go ahead and dump it over the pork.
All right, guys, so you're going to want to just use a spoon, and you still want, you want the pork to stay on the bottom, but you want to just make sure the sauce is kind of evenly distributed so it can get in all the nooks and crannies. It smells amazing, by the way. So I'm just going to kind of even it out a little bit, nothing too fancy. Make sure the chops are all covered. And you're going to go ahead and set the lid, put the lid on and set it three hours on high or six hours on low. So I will see you guys in about six hours. I'll show you it fully plated up with how I serve it. I think I'm going to do asparagus and I'm either going to serve this over rice, pasta or potatoes. I will figure that out later in the day, but I will see you guys in about six hours. All right guys, so it's much later now, as you can probably imagine, and I decided I'm gonna do some white rice and then I'm gonna serve the pork and the sauce over. Um, this is my trusty rice cooker. I've had this thing for years. I have a review on this. I'll link it down below in case you're interested in purchasing one. Um, I know rice cookers are something that most people have, and if you don't have one, you definitely need one if you eat a lot of rice. Um, so I'll leave the review on this down below. They're very inexpensive, and with the holidays coming, it would be a great uh, gift idea for you to ask for for Christmas. But anyways, so I'm waiting on my rice. I'm going to go ahead and get my asparagus. Um, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, keep it very simple. Um, I actually like the flavor of asparagus and I like to saute these so they're still just a little bit crispy but nice and hot. So I'll show you how the dish looks when I bring it all together. All right guys, so here is what the dish looks like on top of the rice with some asparagus that I sauteed up. I went a little bit heavier on my mushrooms because my husband's not a huge mushroom fan, but it's really delicious. I tried it. I just garnished with a little bit of parsley and a little black pepper. It doesn't need anything else in my opinion. Of course, I'll type everything up down below. I hope you give this one a try. It is really, really good. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.